Hi everyone, welcome to chapter 2 of CHM256 entitled the Evaluation of Experimental Data. In this topic, we will continue with part B, which is the types and the sources of error as well as precision and accuracy. Generally, there are two types of error, determinate error and indeterminate error. Determinate error or so-called systematic error is a constant error that originates from a fixed cause such as error in the design of an equipment of the experiment. In this type of error, it occurs from known sources and this error can be avoided or corrected. A systematic error can be recognized from multiple measurements where the result sometimes can be too high or too low when compared to the true value. For example, the measurement of copper density uh, will give the values that are consistently higher than the true value of copper's density. On the other hand, indeterminate error are the errors that originate from unknown sources that cannot be identified. They are caused by many uncontrollable variables and therefore cannot be totally eliminated. The detection of this error is sometimes difficult because they are very small and not positively identified or mentioned. These are the sources of determinate error that originates from the instrument error operative error or personal error, and also method error. Any class where used for quantitative measurements are the potential of systematic error. If they are not calibrated, the solution temperature is different from the temperature of the class where and uh, inaccuracy in determining the level of meniscus. So to avoid this problem, it is always recommended to do calibration of glassware or instruments prior to the measurement. Method error can be avoided by using standard sample, performing blank determination, varies the sample size, and also perform other reliable method. This figure shows the difference between the distribution of data with the presence of determinate error and indeterminate error respectively. As you can see from here, we notice that the systematic error does not affect the average of the data. On the other hand, uh, random error doesn't affect the average, they just only affect the variability around the average. Recession is how close the measured values are to each other measurement that have been made exactly the same way. Precision usually expressed in terms of deviation. Accuracy, on the other hand, tells how close the measured value to the actual value, which we believe to be correct. Accuracy usually expressed in terms of error or absolute error. This is the illustration on the distribution of dots on a dot board, which represents the difference between precision and accuracy. We cannot have accuracy without good precision, but a precise result can have determinate or systematic error. Alright students, we will continue the other subtopics in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!